Whew. All right, guys, this catfish here. I'm trying to see the bigger boys. Dad and I are here feeding these dogs. And as I'm out here, uh, I said it'd be a shame to not let y'all see these boots that I've been wearing for the last, I don't know, six, seven months here. I got the boots from Hound Dog Country. They are the, uh, these are some tingly, they're called tingly boots, rubber boots. And uh, what an awesome boot, guys. They are so light. Hey, hey, y'all know better than that. You know better than that. Cut it out. Cut it out. And so, uh, anyway, these are them. If y'all can read that, I'll put the description in the box below, tingly. And these are lightweight boots, guys. I mean, literally, um, I, I bet they don't weigh, <laughs> I, I, they don't weigh nothing. I mean, literally, uh, nothing. And I wear them so much, it has, uh, I don't even pick up my other boots. Now, this is what I will tell you a little bit about the boots. Um, I got them for right around about, I don't know, about $40, $45. Um, I got them for turkey season. You can wear these boots. I wore these boots all day. Uh, I, I mean, I walked two miles in these boots through the woods. And I know two miles ain't a lot, but two miles through the woods and, and swamp and briars and, and cutovers and everything. And these boots, you can wear them all day. They don't hurt your feet or anything. And you would think a boot so light wouldn't have any support. They do got some support. Um, the, where they don't have support at is, hey, 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 it's right here, right here. And when I say support, they don't, um, they don't hug your ankle too, too hard. So, um, I had to get this dog. She, she keep playing with me now. We don't, we don't have any fighting at the dog pen. And, um, uh, I hate to have to check somebody while I'm on camera, but hopefully, Hopefully, I think I think they'll be okay. I think they'll be all right. Let them go. <laughs> Let them go. They got crazy. Anyway, good boots, guys. Um, I punctured a couple holes in these boots with some briars. And y'all know, y'all houndsmen and hunters out there, y'all know them big briars. Um, I don't know what kind of briar they call, but they they, they them they long briars, y'all. And I stuck it in the bottom of that boot one day, turkey hunting. And uh, I said, God, no, I bet the boot ain't gonna be no more good. Let me tell you what. They self-healed themselves. They closed right back up. And I, I done went down through the water, swamp. Um, the other night, um, the job that I have, we had a flood at one of the uh, one of the locations that I take care of. And I went down to the flood and I'm wearing throughout the flood. I went flooded, you know, all the way until one, two o'clock at night. Water up the boot, not, not no leak at all. And um, an awesome boot. Now, talking about swamp. Um, would I recommend these boots if you're going deep down, nasty uh, in the swamp? I, it's gonna come off your foot because it doesn't hold right here. It does not hold in this area right there, and um, and, and the boots gonna come off your foot. Um, so I, 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 you know, I wear these boots so much though. I wear them for yard work. I, I use them for when I'm cleaning the dog pen. Um, I go hunting in the boots, ride the four wheeler in the boots, um, go to floods in the boots. And I pick these boots up more than I pick up like my muck boots. Um, I end up wearing these a whole lot more just because they're lighter, um, they're cooler. And for $40, $45, you cannot beat the boot um, for, the, for the price. And you're going to pick them up. You're going to wear them so much. I found myself um, putting them on, coming down to the dog pen. I'm done with the dog pen, and I'm still wearing them um, just because they're so light. So if you, I would add these boots to your arsenal of shoes. They're, I use them like tools, and I would use them. I would add these boots to, um, to, your, to, your, um, to your arsenal of, of, of hunting boots, outdoor shoes, and... Um, I don't need, I think about the grip on the boots. Mm, Y'all see the grip on the boots. You know, they're, they're pretty grippy, you know. Uh, I know I ain't had no problem with them. And uh, I, 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 look, 
I wear them, guys. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all if y'all were looking for a good, lightweight, all-day boot. Again, if you going through, uh, through that thick, thick briars, chasing that swamp rabbit down uh, in the middle of um, January and February, these ain't the boot. These ain't it. Um, but if you uh, if you climbing a deer stand and you got a good seat and uh, and you're not just I hunt a tree saddle, I, I wouldn't use these in a tree saddle. But for a normal tree stand, absolutely, this is it. They're good. Um, they're good boot guys. Anyway, let me get off of here. I didn't say that enough. Go out here. I just got done um, um, putting some flea flea um powder on them dogs and that, that flea powder right them them fleas gotta move dad picked me up that um that tiger brand and so we we've been using that and uh we use a we use a few different things but for right now that's one thing that we use along with dipping the dogs front line other things anything that we can do out here for these dogs because literally um um you're going to need everything that you can out here in these woods so anyway Live action, guys. We'll see you. See you in the woods. I think we're going to run dogs on Saturday. Let's see what happens.